Also tonight, Michael Hernandez, who is now 26 years old, is back in court for the resentencing hearing for a cold-blooded killing of his classmate when Hernandez was only 14 years old. It was exactly 12 years ago today that fellow classmate and friend Jaime Goff was stabbed to death inside of Southwood Middle School in a bathroom. At one point, the testimony was too much for Hernandez's family to take. His father leaving the courtroom. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morejon was at today's hearing, and she's joining us live. Leanne. Lori Calvin, tough for all involved. Today, the court heard testimony from a neuropsychologist, from Hernandez's own father, and from Hernandez's old classmate and friend who was nearly lured to the same fate as Goff, but never took the bait. A now 26-year-old Michael Hernandez hears his own words from his 2004 confession tape, played during the first day of his resentencing. I feel like the... Uh... The initial sentence was, was fitting of the crime. Hernandez was convicted in 2008 of killing his friend Jaime Goff when the two were just 14 years old. Twelve years ago today, Hernandez lured Goff into the boys' bathroom at Southwood Middle and stabbed him 42 times. He was sentenced to life without parole, but later in 2012, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled juveniles could not automatically face that kind of sentence, paving the way for Hernandez to be resentenced. Do you love your son? Very much. During testimony from Hernandez's father, prosecutor Gail Levine grilled him for helping his son set up a profile on loveaprisoner.com and for playing violent death metal music for him just months ago during tape jailhouse phone calls. It doesn't concern you that your son is fascinated, continued to be fascinated, with serial murderers and music that screams out for Hitler. I don't see that he's fascinated with serial killers. And just one song doesn't make a man. A neuropsychologist testified Hernandez showed no signs of real remorse and that his mother could only remember one instance where Hernandez cried in prison. What was he crying about? He was crying about because um, his significant other, obviously another male inmate, um, had been transferred out and he notes that I still miss him. And testimony from that neuropsychologist is continuing right now in the courtroom. The day will end without a decision that is expected to come on Friday. Reporting in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.